Connor, there's no reason for you to stay here and wait for Brooke. She needs my help. If that's the case, then why didn't she ask you to represent her this evening? You're only going to complicate matters. For you, yes, that's true. After what you've done to Brooke, there's no way she's letting you people off the hook. I'm going to make sure of that. This isn't your battle. Well, someone has to watch out for Brooke. And it sure as hell isn't going to be you, so I will. What's in it for you? I'm an attorney. Fighting injustice is my job. Well, this is our fight. This is a legal fight. And as Brooke's counsel, I have every right to be here. Where the hell is she? She's with Ridge. Ridge? She wanted to speak to him alone. What is she first. doing with Ridge? You stay right here, Connor. Right here. And whatever she has to say to him, she will say to him in private. Now, this is enough of your interference. It's not going any further. I am not going to leave Brooke alone in there with Ridge. Yes, you are. You've done this before. Used him to soften her up. Oh, Connor, nobody's softening anybody up. Well, it's not going to work this time. Connor! I had to come. Well, maybe it's better that you did. I have made a very significant decision about the belief patent. I'm ready to give you all the answers I'm sure you've been waiting to hear. Brooke, we're ready. What's your decision? Well, first, Eric, I want to tell you that your visit meant a lot to me. Look, Brooke, don't do this. They don't deserve it. Yes, they do. Eric, you really made a lot of sense today. I don't want Eric Jr. and Bridget to pay for my mistakes. Look, if you were worried about that, you never would have tricked Brooke in the first Connor, place. Connor, please, let me finish. Now, Rich just told me that whatever my decision may be, it's not going to change his relationship with the kids. Well, what does that matter? I don't want to destroy these people. Well, it's true, Stephanie. But you pushed me too far. They deliberately deceived you. <sighs> and that hurt more than you will ever know. We want to make amends, bro. Oh, they want to protect their formula. I have thought about this a million times over, and I've asked myself, can I forget what all of you have done to me? I'm not a monster. I know you may think I am, Stephanie, but I'm not, and I'm about to prove you all wrong. You are? I don't want to believe patent. Brooke! I never did. I just wanted to cause you as much pain as you all caused me. So you're going to give up on all this, then? Yes, on two conditions. And what might those be? They're not unreasonable demands, Stephanie. And if we consent, you'll sign the release form? I will sign it tonight. And what are those demands? Think about what you are doing. I have, Connor. I have thought long and hard about this. And I'm only asking two things. I think the first will be the most difficult. What is it? I want an apology. From Stephanie. I want you to apologize to me personally. For everything you have said and done to me. You want me to apologize? Yes, I do. Well, I won't do it. Stephanie, you know how important this is to all of us? Does your pride get in the way here? If you don't apologize, Stephanie, you don't get the patent. I have a right to ask for that after everything you did to me. Oh, you've got a right to a hell of a lot more than that, Brooke. So what do you say, Stephanie? Are you sorry? No. No? No, Brooke. But I'll apologize. And you'll take back everything you said to me? All of it. Every single slanderous epithet? Brooke, Mother apologized to you. What, what else do you want? I want your word. Her word? What good is that? I want to know you're being completely honest with me. We are. Brooke, you are throwing your future away. Connor, I know what I'm doing. 
I fell for your schemes once, Stephanie. I want you to promise that's never going to happen again. You've got it. It won't. Well, I can't sign this release form until I know everything that you know about the patent. I've explained all of it to you. So you've told me everything? Yes. You're not holding anything back? Brooke, we're straight with you from here on out. You're a member of this family, Brooke. You'll be treated as such. Do you agree, Stephanie? What would you like me to say, Brooke? Am I a member of this family? Yes, you're a member of our family. Well, I'm totally satisfied. Belief is yours. Logan, you're one in a million. But you've been far more generous with us than we have been with you. I am very grateful. I'm just glad we worked everything out. So am I. Now let's get your signature on this release form and be done with all this. Brooke, do you realize what you're giving up? Connor, I made my decision. I saw your car in the lot. Listen, I, uh, I scheduled another massage. Steve? I, uh, excuse me. I didn't realize that, uh... Steve, what are you doing here? 